guys, welcome back to Move Skill. Today we're talking about the Bering Sorensen test. Bering Sorensen test is something that we're going to use as both a test and a tool to train the back. Basically, what it consists of is our ability to hold uh, a posture or a position. We're going to do that from being laid down or prone while on a GHD or mats. We have a couple different options there. First off, uh, Steve, my lovely assistant, uh, he's going to take and cross his arms over his chest just like so. And if you notice, right away, his back is nice and flat. If I tell him to squeeze his belly and squeeze his butt, he's able to hold position. When he's in position here, this is the same position that we're going to have him hold. So now, real quick, we're going to get him on the GHD. So the Bering Sorensen test itself consists of being able to hold this position. He's going to start by taking and putting his hands on, this, on, the, on the edge of the... He's going to start by putting his hands on the edge of the machine to support his weight. I'm going to have a timer and I'm going to run that timer from the time he lets go. What we're doing is we're looking about how long can he hold this position. We're doing that without excessively arching his back, so if he arches real hard and picks up his chest, I don't want to see this. What I do want to see is I want to see him be able to squeeze his belly, squeeze his butt, and hold himself in a neutral spine position. So when, once he's there, we'd start the clock. We're looking at accumulating, for our, our purposes, about two minutes to consider a passing score. Go ahead and, re go ahead and relax. We're going to stop him along the way if we see his shoulders drop, if we see one shoulder dips, uh, or if he just simply can't hold position anymore. So if he comes back up, gets in position, we start the clock, he lets go, and he's holding position, and this is where a partner or film works awesome. I'm here, if he starts to drop more than five to 10 degrees down, he drops, I'm gonna give him a warning and reset him. And from there, I'm gonna look for that failure to happen again, then I'm gonna end the test. Now, the other, the other fault in here is if he dips one side, he starts to fall on one side, I reset him, he's gonna come back up and hold position. Go ahead, that's good right there. So once again, we're gonna use as long a hold as possible in that position without breaking, without anything coming apart, without any dips in the upper body. Remember, two minutes is our passing time. We're gonna also use the Sorensen as a, a training tool. Um, we're gonna use that as a back extension though. With a GHD, it works out awesome. Um, for the back extensions, we're gonna use something close to, it's gonna change, make sure to look on the day-to-day -day programming. Um, six to eight reps, three sets at a four, zero, two, two. So if I'm here in position, he'll blow himself down under four seconds. Four, three, two, one, back up, hold for two seconds. Four, three, two, one. And he pulls himself back up with that nice controlled pull. So it's not explosive, it's a roughly two second hold. Goodness, go ahead, relax. Guys, if you take and you do this test and you counter that your back fails super early, um, we're gonna take and we're gonna make a recommendation that you use that back extension as a training tool a little bit more often in the programming. Guys, one of the reasons we're gonna use the Bering Sorensen is as a training tool and that assessment. Remember, if we see values of that hold time being less than two minutes, we really want to add some additional posterior chain, spinal and postural endurance pieces back into our workouts. Um, if you find that you're on the lower end, you're probably at a greater risk for a lower back injury. So really take and, and perform the test, shoot video, watch yourself, take and score yourself. That scores that time you're able to hold position. Any questions, guys? Fire them to us on the forum. Have a great day.